Hey, this is John Carlos, and I am here with a look at the Star Wars Black Series action figure of the Death Watch Mandalorian from The Mandalorian. Not only do I like Mandalorians in general, but I have a special fondness for Mandalorians that are in blue and gray. I feel like just not that long ago we had the Mandalorian Loyalist from The Clone Wars as a Black Series figure, and now we get this proper Death Watch uh, figure and you know I loved the Death Watch in the Clone Wars I loved seeing them in live action in the Mandalorian and hot damn is this a really solid figure uh, the armor is really well done with all the paint on it really well applied even just the little details like on the uh, gauntlets there um, there's some little details here that I was not expecting um, one I just like that the the shoulder things uh, have that little strap in there so you can raise the arm up and they kind of raise with it. That's neat. But I haven't seen this before, at least not to my knowledge, is the uh, little rockets on the back of his jetpack can pivot. So that's fun. Um, some nice detail on like the texture of the fabrics here. Um, again, the armor is really well done and the helmet paint is pretty good. I like that the rangefinder moves. Um, nothing amazing as far as articulation points. We have that bottom joint at the bottom of the neck, not just inside the helmet. Um, the wrists hinge up and down on the right hand and side to side on the left hand. Uh, yeah, let's see, do the ankles go all the way back? Yes, the ankles do pivot back so you can get the head, I mean, so you can get the feet into a decent flying position. Um, the head, not as much. There's only so much you can do with the back of that helmet there, but still, you can get his feet into a good flying position if you want to. He comes with uh, this little pistol, which fits into the uh, holster. And we also get this uh, bigger kind of rifle. When putting the pistol into the holster, I do recommend taking off the jetpack just because it would get in the way of you trying to, you know, fiddle about here. Also, um, the jetpack does bump out quite easily. Something about like the little rubbery material um, for the holes in the back of the back here, it tends to just sort of not go in all the way and pop out quite easily. Not the biggest deal, but it is kind of a bummer that the gun does not fit easily into the hand at all. The, uh, the, the length of the, the handle versus how high his thumb is from the rest of his fingers you can't get the gun to rest in the palm of his hand. You can't get the index finger to go all the way into the... Like, this gun just does not fit into this hand at all. If you don't look directly at the right hand, though, you won't really notice, and it still looks really cool on the tabletop. I think this action figure is freaking awesome. I mean, I'm a kid of the 80s, and one of my favorite characters is Boba Fett. I love the Mandalorian armor design. And for the longest time, all I had was Boba Fett, and then it was like a huge blessing that we got a Jango Fett, right? But now we live in this glorious age where there's like a million different Mandalorians and so many different kinds of like characters and armors and color schemes and 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 so many toys for me to get. So yeah, oh, there goes his backpack, like I said, his little jetpack. Uh, I dig this figure a lot. I think it's one of my favorite Mandalorian figures. So yeah, great color scheme, scheme great paint, looks great. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure. And if you want to be up to date with all my latest reviews, be sure to click subscribe.